Good day guys, welcome to my recap of the NRL. This was round 23. We've got one fortnight of footy to go. Let's get into the recap. So the first game of the round saw my Parramatta Eels at home, Bank West, up against the Canterbury Bulldogs. They've been playing a tough brand of footy, the Bulldogs, but I just thought um, the Eels would edge a little win here. But unfortunately, this game was an upset. Uh, the Bulldogs took out the win 12 points to 6. <sighs> I don't know. This game frustrated me. Um, but full credit to the Bulldogs. Um, they were very defensively well. A lot of errors on both sides. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It looked like Mitchell Moses was making a tackle. But it was a penalty try in the ref's opinion. I thought... Um, Wonga Blake was fantastic. He scored the only try in the match, so that's saying something. That shoulder charge from Nathan Brown, we're going to need him. And uh, with him out, the leader of our forward pack, someone is going to have to stand up. I'm hoping Tim Manor comes in um, for his last few games. I, I think Brad will bring someone like Tepai in. And I, I really hope not. Um, but I thought the Eels were fairly good here. Both sides really turned up. It was a gritty game. Um, couple Simbining. As angry as I was on the night, I've got to say, I really enjoyed this game. I hope the Eels bounce back against the Bronco. And the Bulldogs are now four in a row, so they'll take a lot of confidence into this game. Uh, they're nicknamed the Giant Killers. They're a chance of the eight. Will they make it? Not in my opinion, but um, they played really well, nevertheless. I was pretty happy about this game. I caught it, uh, caught it nice and early. Second last game at 1300 Smile Stadium before the rebuild. Matt Scott had a stroke. The boys were up. Uh, these Cowboys side were gritty. Shane Wright was fantastic. Uh, and Kyle Felt had a fantastic game, in my opinion, as well. Um, and Panthers, for me, oh, I think they're gone. They might have a few wins left in them, but I think they're gone. Um, sorry. The Cowboys took away a win here, 24 points to 10. I thought it was a pretty good game of football at the time. I was actually hanging out with uh, Anthony Marone and uh, Brian Fletcher um, at the Leagues Club. I was going to do a vlog um, for that, but I didn't. But anyway, um, and it looks like I'll be at the Matty John Show on the 8th of September, which is awesome. Uh, I can't look, wait for that one. Um, but yeah, the Cowboys, full credit. Penrith turned up, scored some tries. Brian Toto every week. Um, he's fantastic. Uh, but uh, their forward pack was really quiet, and I think that's what let them down. Cowboys too good here, and the Cowboys got the win, 24 points to 10 in front of a home crowd where they've been disappointing at home all year, but I smelt an upset all week. The next game, I think, was my game of the round. Uh, the Eels and Bulldogs game, the Raiders and Manly, and this game, it was hard to choose from. I thought there were some pretty good games of football. Even the, the second half of the Dragons game was good. Anyway, I'm going to go with this game. The Broncos up against the Rabbits. Broncos fighting, <clears throat> holding on to that top eight spot. Getting the win. Sorry. Uh, they, they're still in the top eight, but they didn't win this game. Sorry. 22 uh, points to 20. Um, Broncos, they were good here. Their forward pack really stood up in this match, even though they didn't get the win. I thought they played a really good brand of footy. They were gritty. They had a comeback here. Um, but I think just like the Eels on fifth tackle options, they found uh, those to be a struggle. Full credit to the Rabbitohs. One of my favourite players of the week was Damian Cook. I thought he was fantastic, and his try um, it was good to see everybody at the club. I was with Brian Fletcher, as I said, for this match as well. Go, Cookie, go, Cookie. Everyone cheering for him. Um, Dane Gagai had a fantastic game as well. Adam Reynolds was a bit quiet, and... Um, I think he'll be told to maybe try something different. He seems a little bit predictable um, at times, but full credit to the Rabbitohs here getting the win in Suncorp. Not a very convincing win, um, but they will take confidence into that, and they played the Warriors this week. But the Rabbitohs are now out of the top four, so they'll be taking that seriously. But the Rabbitohs too good here, beating the Brisbane Bronco. Now, James Roberts. What the hell was that? It was a disgusting, it was an elbow, it was deliberate. How, in my opinion, that wasn't just a sin bin, that's a send-off. 
I know it was three minutes into the match. That's a bloody send-off. That is get off the field for the match, not just 10. Disgusting, in my opinion. Should have been sent off. So foul against his former club, poor Corey Oates. I hope he gets charged, and I hope he gets a couple weeks. Um, let me know what you guys think of that. I reckon it was one of the worst moments this year in rugby league. It was just a disgusting play from Robert, and I like him as a player, but it was a grubby move. I thought the Rabbitohs and the Broncos were both dirty in this game, but I did enjoy it. The game saw the Sharks at home take on the Warriors, and boy, did they do a job on them. Ended any chance of finals. <laughs> Not that they were going to make it. 42 points to 16. Um, wow. Big effort from the Sharks here at home. Bronson Cherry was fantastic. Brendan Hammond Ueli, I haven't spoken about him too much this year, but I've spoken about him a little bit. Thought he was absolutely amazing in this game. He stood up and he led led this team like it was his. Um, he was one of the best players on the field. Um, Josh Morris, good. He got a double. Um, as for the Warriors, David Fusatua was fairly good. They were quiet as a side. Um, I actually had a multi on this game that I just cashed out on. I just didn't think it would happen. A um, couple bucks. Papa Leahy, Bronson Cherry, uh, Britton Nakora. Like, it was paying so much. But anyway, forget about betting. Um, we'll save that for tomorrow. But the Sharks too good here. Um, they look like they've sealed a spot in the top eight. But it's a tough contest between them and the West Tigers at the moment. Um, but yeah, they were so good here. Cronulla in front of a home crowd. It's a big win. And I think it's a momentum changer as well. The next game was woeful if you were a Knights fan. Oh my God. They were expected to win this. They went in as favourites. And boy, did they play us all as fools. Now, two words for this game. Benji Marshall. Holy crap. He was one of the best, if not the best player of the round for me. He controlled this game like it was his. With Farah out and uh, Moses Mbai out, they needed someone to stand up, and boy, did he in this match. The Tigers, too good here. Uh, Faze Dillon, I think that's your name if you're watching this video. Your team was fantastic. This was one of the Tigers' best performances all year. David Nufaluma pulled out the old Brett Morris and got a hat trick all within 20 minutes. Um, Tigers, way too good. 46 points to four. The Knights were woeful. Kalen Ponga cannot just lead the whole team. He was good. But you can't rely on one freaking player. Mitchell Pearce was average at best. Aiden Guerra scored a try. Um, he's been back a couple of weeks now, so good for him to cross the line. But um, with the sacking of Nathan Brown, this team looks to have really changed. And it's a big call, and I'm still thinking about it. I don't know if the Knights will win another game this season. They're playing the Titans, and then they're playing the Panthers. Both tough games. For them, in my opinion, the way they're playing, they started off so good. But um, no, the Tigers here, they were amazing. Um, as I said, Nofaluma, Benji Marshall, and even Josh Reynolds, getting his chance at hooker, thought he had a fairly good game. Tigers, will they make the eight? What do you think in the comments? They always seem to finish ninth. Can they make it this year? It's too close to call. The next game saw the Dragons at home. I was at this one. Go and check out the vlog. I met a shit ton of players after this match. It was awesome. Um, but the Dragons against the Roosters, I expected it to be a little bit closer. I said 24 to 12, and it was 34 to 12. But I have to say that I think the Dragons actually won the battle of the second half in this match. It was 28 nil at halftime, and for them to bring it 34-12. I only let him one try in the second half. They defended really well. Tyson Frizzell, I thought, was really good. Um, Tristan Saylor was amazing. It was his NRL debut, the son of Wendell Saylor. I did a little, about 15 seconds, interview with him, just congratulating him, things like that. Go and check out the video. But yeah, I met James Tedesco. I met Boyd Cordner. I met Gareth Widdop. I really wish I got a video with Widdop, but he had to go. I was lucky enough to get a photo. Um, I actually posted, and I want to know what you guys think of this, I posted a photo with all the players and stuff to my, like, an Eels fan group that I'm in, and everyone got the shits with me. I had a few people stick up for me, but it, do you think it's wrong that I was wearing a Dragons jersey to support Gareth Widdop? It wasn't even my jersey, but I just think he's a great player, um, and I thought it would get his attention, but anyway, um, 
Yeah, I thought this was a really good game of football in the second half. The first half was sloppy and it was all roosters looking like a bloodbath. Could have been 50 nil. Who know? But the Dragons did really well. Um, Widdop controlled the game with his kicking. He kicked an awesome 40-20. And I, I missed a lot of moments in my highlights vlog, which is a shame. Um, but, yeah, I really enjoyed the second half of this match. And I think I'd go to Nestrata Jubilee Stadium again. I thought it was a pretty good atmosphere. And you're fairly close to the players. Just had a lot of people standing up in my video, you know, which was annoying. Um, but the line for beer was ridiculous. I waited about 20 minutes. But overall, one of the best games of the year afterwards, meeting all these players. Go and check that out. Um, if you want to see more players like this, hit that subscribe. As soon as I hit these subs, I'm trying my, I'm trying my best. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog from the other night. And if you're a Dragons fan, don't be so upset with yourselves. I thought you competed really well against the Roosters. And Tristan Saylor is one to look out for the future. We move on to the last two games of the round. The first one being the Storm up against the Titans. And who would have thought that the Titans would lead the Storm 8 points to 6 at half time? Now, they kept them scoreless in the second half, but the Storm did not play well here. Philip Sammy, one of the moments of the year for me, catching the Fox. I only watched the end of this game because um, I was out, but I really wanted to be home for the Raiders and Manly game. Um, but a pretty good game of footy from what I saw, um, and I watched the highlights as well. Um, Titans turned up to play here 24 points to 8, so it was still 13+, plus, but it could have been a lot closer. One more try would have kept them at 1-12. to 12. Um, But yeah, as I said, the Storm, they look like they were struggling here. Kenny Bromwich is just finding a way to the line week in, week out, um, just like Josh Papali. Um, even though he didn't score this week, he's another a forward that's scoring tries phenomenally at the moment. But Melbourne, they haven't reached their full potential, in my opinion, this year. Maybe against the Eels, 64-10, but I think there's another gear to that. I think we were pretty woeful um, that night. But the Titans, as I said, against the Eels, they played really well. Even though they put a score on them, um, they showed effort. And they played the Knights this week, and I don't know, I think they've got a big chance. I haven't decided my tip yet, and I'll wait till tomorrow night. But, um, yeah, I thought the Titans played really good against the Storm. And to keep it only 24-8 when everyone was expecting 50-8, I was expecting 38-14, Storm by 24. Like, I was expecting a big margin as well. But, um, no, the Storm too good here, but Titans competing well. And, you know what, it was good to see. Final game, mixed opinions. Really wanted to enjoy it. I think I did enjoy it. Don't think I hated it. And probably doesn't help that I tipped the Raiders. And full credit to Manly defensively. They were great. Um, Jake Chavoyevich got his first try or second try of the year. Raiders were really good. But at the start, they just couldn't capitalise it. There were a lot of drop balls and things. <sighs> 28 penalties. 28. Let that sink in. 28 penalties in this match. And uh, the whistle needed to be put away. I wanted to enjoy this. I wanted it to be a free-flowing game of footy. Say 10, 12, max. There was almost triple the freaking penalty count. The other thing. I've looked and looked again. Joey Leilua should be suspended, in my opinion. But that was not an eight-point try. If you go and watch it again and again, I was watching it repeatedly. Ruben, or one of the... No, Jack Gasaki, whatever his name is... And I'm saying this, full credit to Manly. Good on them for getting the win. But offside, okay? Check it again, offside. It was not checked by the bunker. I know the bunker can't rule on four passes. Eels have lost game due to being offside, intercept try, and it wasn't checked. If you're going to go upstairs, you've got to check the whole thing. It really made me angry how many penalties were blown in this match. I was screaming at the TV at parts because there were just so much unnecessary. Both teams were getting away with things without the whistle blowing and unnecessary penalty were blown, in my opinion. But in regards to the teams, I thought they both played a very gritty um, game of football, 18-14. I did expect it to be low scoring. I was close. I said 18-16 to the Raiders, but Manly, too good here in Canberra. They are the Raiders' bogey team, but... You know what? It annoyed me. Let me know what you guys thought of the game. Do you think it was referee good or bad? Please do hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow in my round 24 predictions video. And um, if you don't like how this is filmed, 
say maybe going into next year it's too soon now and i'll try and get someone to film it but maybe i'll get a tripod because even i don't like how it's filmed tonight but um my sister doesn't want to film anymore which fair enough all right guys hope you guys enjoyed the video as i said please do subscribe like the video check out the vlogs um lots of vlogs coming out I had a comment say make more vlogs i'm, I'm doing everything i can um and I don't think I'll be at any games this week, but I'll try and do a reaction to Broncos and Eels for you guys, wherever I am. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.